Okay, so modifying parameters in Creo is actually pretty easy from Excel. So we have this uh, export that we did with NitroBomb, and you can see here that we've got the full bomb, summary bomb, so on and so forth. But some of the data is not looking quite right. There's some gaps in here. We've got to fix that so that the data is accurate for downstream systems or the PLM system. And also this unobtainium material, that doesn't even exist. So we've got to go fix that. To do that, we're going to use the all params report. And there is this handy little legend here that kind of shows us what the various colors and values indicate. So in this particular case, any cell that has a parameter and a model name aligning uh, in that particular case, it says the parameter, parameter is not defined for that model. In this case, it's defined when it has an empty value. So we can see quite easily that uh, things that have empty values are kind of in this yellow, and uh, things that are missing or just do not exist are in the gray. So to make uh, some changes, uh, we could do this actually pretty easy. Let's say that I wanted to create some empty values here and here. And these I wanted to fill in with uh, my initials. So I'll put this here and here and here and here. So, oops, I can't remember what I modified. So we can actually be kind of generic with this and just say, well, we're going to modify uh, everything in this column. And we could just pop an X in at the top, double click to get it down. And we're just going to import those changes. So NitroBomb is actually making all those adjustments and then it's rewriting back out the changes that it made. So you can see that it created those empty value parameters for me and made the changes to the, the ones we wanted. Um, but in reality, let's say that in this particular case, I happen to know that that particular uh, value was actually done by MFB instead. So I'll just do a replace on all these, and it's like, well, where again is all those changes at? I'm just gonna hit them all, and then import that back in. You could do a selective update also. Um, like for example, for these unobtainiums, uh, we could do, let's do another find and replace on this using Excel. Uh, we'll say these are steel, steel. And we'll hit a replace on those items. And in this case, I'm just gonna take this and drag this down to about the area that I needed that to be adjusted. We'll import those changes and that should fix those particular items so that they're correct also. Now these assemblies uh, don't have a material, so that's why they're left with the NB vol value. Now, if we go back to our reports here, you'll notice, well, they're, they're not updated. Well, that's because we have to re-export our reports after we make changes. So we're gonna re-export all of our reports. And when this gets done, we should have data in every report clean and ready to go to the next system. And as we take a look at it, um, let's go back to our full bomb here. Yep, we've got all of our data modified and ready to go. And then it's just a matter of uh, taking all this clean data and pushing it off to the next system.